don't let questions like this scare you. The, the SAT is pretty predictable in what they're doing here. And we have some math ideas that we need to hold in our heads in order to get this, but we also have the choices, which make it clear what we need to think about. So yeah, there's some, there's a lot of words in these choices, but there's kind of two that you should be focusing right off the bat. They're saying that it's either about the consulting or the plans, right? Drawing up plans, consulting. So let's think about that first. The 68 is attached to the X, but there's also a Y and, and they're going to tell you what X and Y mean. So this isn't really about understanding how math equations work. This is just reading. So the 68 is attached to the X. So my first question is, what does the X mean? Okay. Well, last week an interior designer earned a total of $1,258 from consulting for X hours, consulting for X hours and drawing up plans for Y hours. So X is the consulting. So if they're asking with the 68, which is attached to the X, it's going to be about the X. It's going to be about the consulting. So we can get rid of B and C because they're just the wrong variable. So right away, even if you have no idea what else is going on, all you have to do is read what the letter represents and you're, you're getting a 50-50 shot now at the answer. So then let's kind of look at the difference between A and D. The uh, interior designer earned $68 per hour consulting, okay, or the interior designer worked for 68 hours. Well, there, there's two ways to think about this. One is that just kind of out of like experience, you hopefully know that when we have a number attached to a variable, it tends to be like a rate. So $68 per hour just kind of makes sense with what we've experienced in past questions. Now the SAT could, could mess with us a little bit. They, they've been known to kind of play with our expectations, but we also have the benefit of knowing that the X is the number of hours of consulting. So how could the 68 also be the number of hours of consulting? Right? Look at the units. The units are kind of what we're really focusing on, focusing on here, right? 68 can't be the hours. X is the hours. They're different things. They're not telling us that X is 68. 68 is being multiplied by the X. So it would make sense then that yes, it's a rate, right? However many hours it was, whether it's one or 10 or 100, you multiply that by 68 to kind of get a value. And so uh, this is pretty standard um, in terms of just how a lot of linear equations work. Um, we should be comfortable with the concept of a constant rate, uh, what it reads like when we have a story, what it looks like in an equation. It's, it's basically a, what we would call a coefficient, a number that is in front of a variable, almost always involves a rate, and this question was no exception.